Meridian Tonight with Ian Axton and Helen James. Well, it's a sad fact. More and more shops are shutting up, businesses are closing, and as we know, workers are losing their job. But some people are coming up with very different ideas about how to earn a living. Mm, and that's direct selling. And direct selling is on the up in the South East. And it's not only being seen as a way for mothers with young children to get back into the job market, but also a way to earn extra cash during this current economic downturn. Nia Mason's been finding out exactly what's involved. Claire Heine from Beersted in Kent is a busy mother of two. She's also one of the thousands of people in the UK who are self-employed, running direct selling businesses from their own homes. Once she's taken the children to school, it's back indoors to put on her business hat. She sells household products from Clean Easy and jewellery from Cabuchon. When I first started, I didn't have any childcare. I put catalogues in the back of my double buggy. I could put 70 catalogues in the back of the buggy. And off I went, really. A few hours a week just to earn a bit of extra for me and the children and just, you know, help out on bills. And I found I really, really enjoyed it. And as the children have grown up, I've done extra hours. Um, I've built a team. Um, so, yeah, if I can do it, anybody can do it. There's, there's no, no limit, really. Claire gives catalogues to her customers, takes their orders and then, when the items arrive later, she delivers them. Technology like the internet has made it easier and more cost effective than ever before to set up your own business. eBay alone has given rise to 70,000 of them. More and more people are setting up their own business as a lifestyle approach. Uh, they're not intending to make mega bucks. They're not intending to branch out into the high street. The profile of the new uh, entrepreneur is, is a mum over 35 years old with children running a small business from home. And we estimate that 30% of all businesses are now being run from home. And increasingly, those are being run by mums. And if staying at home is the new way to go shopping, then even with all the sales, the high street retailers may have a challenge on their hands. According to the Direct Selling Association, the industry accounts for about £2 billion of the British economy each year. There are about 70 million consumer transactions annually, and each sale is about £21 on average for one or more items. 